tough, tough loss. I mean, I, I think, um, um, you know, I think we went you know, head to head, toe to toe with one of the better teams in our league. I don't, I don't know when they're going to finish fourth, fifth, or second. I'm not quite sure, but um, it's a team that's had their, they've got six seniors on it, and they've had great success this year. And uh, you know, uh, one of the great gauges for as a coach for your team is how much you've improved. And uh, or December 3rd or whatever the date was, we played them then, and we were absolutely embarrassed in that basketball game. And, uh, and we were not a we were still not a complete team. We're still not a whole team, but we certainly weren't then. And uh, so I am proud of the improvement this team has made, particularly in the, in the competitive spirit. You know, we were so much better in those areas than we were early in the season. This, this last week is as close to being a whole team, a complete team, as we've been all year long. John Martin back in the lineup a little bit has, has been a nice plus for us. Well, two things happened really. One is, is our turnovers. The, di the difference in this ball game was our turnovers. Now, some, again, they're, they're top 15 in the country in almost every defensive category you want to look at, so they're very good. Uh, I mean, we scored 38 second half points on this team. It's pretty amazing, really. But, but our, some of them were forced turnovers, but I thought we had a lot of mindless turnovers, you know, just. And it really hurt us. I mean, they scored 17 points off of turnovers. And uh, that was one. And then we, we knew coming into this game we would have to make threes. And we talked openly about taking threes. We felt we had to make 10 or 11 to win this ball game. And we ended up, we ended up making eight. And uh, we, were one, we were one for 10 the first half, I believe it was. Uh, and, and a lot of great looking shots, right? I mean, two. I mean, a lot of wide open shots we just didn't make. So I thought those two things really turn the game. You know, I, I don't mean nothing special. I mean, I basically told our guys at halftime that there's nothing X's and O's I can tell you that's going to help us win this game. It wasn't our defense. It wasn't the plays we were running. It was our turnovers that were killing us, and we felt we were better than that, and we wanted to prove we could play at a higher level. And, you know, we certainly mixed up our defenses a lot the second half, too. We played three different things out, and it really bothered them, I think, at times. We, uh, you know, we really did a great job, and you know, we played a little bit of a triangle in two, and did a great job taking Ali and uh, 25 um, Richardson out of the ball game, uh, and they really couldn't score against him. And what really hurt us uh, was number 12 White, you know, going five for eight from the. I mean, he's a 31 percent shooter on the year. He made five out of eight threes. I feel good. I mean, I, we, we're a vastly improved basketball team. Uh, as I said, we're as whole as we've been all year. But and I just told our players, and I really mean it. Uh, you know, two things. One. Is and I'm gonna throw out the VMI game because I was not pleased with our effort and play in that game. But if you look at our last four league games, uh, you know we beat a good Northeastern team here at home. Um, we took Drexel, who's number one in our conference, to the wire, lost by two at their place, and and, and you know could have won that one, uh, didn't? But we could have. Uh, we beat Hofstra here at home, and then uh, took one of the better teams in the league here. And I think we beat ourselves today. I think, again, they're very good, but I thought our turnovers beat ourselves today a little bit. So my point is, I think we can go into this tournament next week, you know, with a lot of confidence and really believing we can go over there and make noise. And, uh, and the second thing I told our guys, and it's important for them to realize, we've had a tough year. I mean, there's no disguising it and for a lot of reasons. But, um, you know, if you want to talk about playing Richmond in the Coliseum in the last five years, you know, there, there are four teams that have won, that have been to two CA championship games. Uh, George Mason, VCU, Old Dominion, and William & Mary. Uh, if you look at the last five years, the total wins in that tournament, uh, I think it's Old Dominion with eight, VCU with seven, and William & Mary with six. So we believe we can go over there and play well, and we intend to play well. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I would say I have, uh, I have mixed emotions, definitely. Um, in the last four years, from a wins and loss standpoint, have uh, have not always gone the way that I envisioned it. Um, but uh, I wouldn't trade the last four years for anything. Uh, and it, yeah, so definitely some sadness. Uh, uh, but I guess they told me they weren't going to let me come back. So I guess I'll have to leave. Well, that's going back to uh, overall experience. Like you said, I wouldn't trade. I wouldn't trade it for the world when it was a draw. Um, Fact about it is, I've, I've learned so much and grown so much from maybe the losses more than the wins. But um, 
I think the thing that I'm, I'm definitely going to miss the most is just my teammates. Um, you know, going through these four years with Quinn and John Mark. Uh, I don't think there's any two guys that are aware of going through this journey through and those guys in the locker room. Um, made a lot of lifelong friends. And um, they're just a great group, group of guys I'm going to miss. And I'm taking the thing away from them. I think it was more us just having a mental lapse. To a certain extent, I think Coach was telling us in the locker room to kind of beat ourselves with the mindless turnovers. But um, we were able to um, come back and we really focused on having, we kind of divide the uh, halves and the, you know, this divide the four minutes and we just focused on having the next great four minutes. We were able to close the gap a little bit. Uh, we, we, we mixed up uh, defenses in the second half. Um, we played a, a triangle and two for a good majority of the. The, the time there, and uh, I think that gave them problems. There, I mean, they have uh, two really good scorers, on uh, Ollie, and uh, and then the other guy kind of varied depending on who they put in the game. But um, they were killing us from the outside, which uh, we, I mean, traditionally, and if you look at the uh, entire scope of the season, they haven't been one of the best shooting teams in the league. Um, and that was part of our game plan was to try to make them hit outside shots, but to give them credit, they did. And, um, and so that, that forced our hand uh, uh, to do something different. And, uh, but I think it, that worked well in the second half at, at times. There were times when we needed rebounds that we needed to, or um, they needed to make plays. So uh, ultimately, they, uh, they did a good job. It's, it's definitely a sign of improvement. I mean, like I said, we much rather would have won, but going into the tournament, we um, can have a lot of confidence in, in ourselves, knowing that we've gotten a lot better over the season. spring and, and every year once you start the off season you begin with uh, the end in mind and the end for us is uh, the conference tournament and uh, you know, I give credit to John Mark and Kendricks and that I think that we've done a good job that you know regardless of how difficult the season has been and at times it's been uh, really tough um, that our guys we've kept the morale of the team high and those guys are Able to respond every day, and uh, I think you know, the coaches have um, emphasizing like this is we like Kendrick was saying we, should, we need to play with a lot of confidence when we go into the next week, and uh, and that's that's what we've been working for, and um, we know that we're so much so, such a better team now than we were when we went down there in December and we got our butts kicked uh, and we lost I think like fifty or something. Like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we believe every time we step on the court that. We can play with anybody, uh, and we've proven that we haven't always finished out games, but 